Hi, you good fishing people. Welcome back to Fishing with Seth and Maine Sport Outfitters. I'm here today to share three fishing resource saving measures with you. Stay tuned. So the modern lightweight spinning reel is really a marvel of engineering, but there's a little mantra that goes along with it that I think kind of indicates the proper use of the tackle. What I like to call, open the bale, cast, close the bale. No, it sounds basic, but to get into the specifics, opening the bale by hand, when you've got the line hooked from the line roller right next to the rod blank, making your cast and then closing the bale by hand after the lure has splashed down will save your tackle as opposed to using the action of the handle to close the bale. It has the other added benefit of when you've got the line trapped there and you make your cast, you kind of feather the line so when the lure splashes down, you can then close the bale on basically a top line and be ready for a hook set or to start working that lure back towards you. Fish often attack the bait as soon as it splashes down on the water. So, when it lands and you're right there to close the bale, you're ready for action. When it lands and you're closing the reel, you might miss a take. So we don't want that to ever happen to you. Not to mention that the gear will last longer and it'll put the line back on the spool in an organized fashion so it comes zinging off for a nice long distance or appropriate distance cast the next time. The modern fly fishing outfit. The reel here is a little bit different from classic gear. That is classic fly fishing reels, also built more heavy duty. They had line rollers just like spinning reels uh, holding the frame of the reel together, or they had agate eyes on the side of the reel where the line would come out. So that when an angler was getting started, there was nothing wrong with pulling the line off the reel in the casting motion. Kind of like this, cast, pull, cast, pull. What I really recommend is not pulling your nice fancy fly line against the frame of the reel ever, but anticipating the distance you need in your cast, pulling it off in the direction of the first guide, and pull off all the line and then some that you need to make your presentation, grab the line snugly, then let it shoot out there. This little move of just pulling the line off in that direction will save your fly line, it'll save your fly reel, and it'll keep your connection to your fish solid. At Main Sport Outfitters, we really recommend going barbless if you can take that step in your fishing. We promise you, you will hook and land as many fish successfully. You'll protect the resource more, but like all of these little tricks, it's gonna save your gear in the process. Whether you're fishing classic bucktail jig on a spinning rod for stripers or bass, or just about any game fish, or you're fishing kind of the fly fishing equivalent of like a conehead woolly bugger like this, a barbless hook is easy to do with a pair of flat jawed clamps as basic as these. Grabbing that hook right over the barb and squishing it flush is almost all you need to do to be able to easily remove that hook from a fish's mouth. It also penetrates cartilage really well so the fish on a light bite and a solid hook set stay on really well. We have a big variety of clamps to kind of match your aesthetic and match your fishing kit, different lengths different shapes to the jaws. So if you want a curved shape, you've got it. If you want a bright pink one, you've got it. We've got different lengths in just the clamps for pickerel, pike, musk lunge. Same thing with fishing pliers. When it comes to debarbing your hooks, I recommend that flat jaw. Pliers typically have a ridge on the jaw. That's better for gripping a big hook that's got a barb on it, tearing it out of a fish but there could be a flat spot in that jaw too, which would make it a great all around tool. Even better all around tool is when you've got the flat jaw, you've got the tooth part to the jaw, and you've got a cutter somewhere in here. Lots of choice. Be prepared to release the fish or many fish that you're going to hook and land before you get that one that you wanna take home or cook up. Thank you as always for sharing in these fishing ideas, everybody. I hope that these resource saving measures save you some cash, make your gear last longer, and most of all, protect the fish, the natural resource. So don't forget, 
to debarb before you go. Bye for now.